Okay, this video is going to review the muscles from the lower limb. We're going to start on anterior view and look at the major muscles of the quadriceps. Um, and the central muscle, this is the rectus femoris. Then on, to give you some context, well, I'll show you the context, this is the, the medial side. So that helps you know that this is the vastus medialis. On the opposite side, you have the vastus lateralis. And then there's a deep muscle underneath the rectus femoris. That would be the vastus intermedius in here. Uh, some of the other muscles that are visible, if I just swing around to the medial side, I'm going to give you a true medial view now. The muscle that wraps around the medial side is the sartorius. This also allows you to see the adductor longus. And then if I swing around just a little bit farther, the straight muscle going down the medial side of the thigh is the grossalus. And then you have a little bit of the adductor magnus visible here. If I swing back around to a more anterior view and take off the sartorius, that makes part of what we've been calling the iliopsoas muscle. This is actually two separate muscles that merge together in this part of the thigh. That's the iliopsoas underneath the sartorius. Then on the posterior view, um, just inferior to the gluteus maximus, on the posterior side of the thigh, you've got your hamstrings group. Uh, again, I'm going to give you a reference point. So looking at the foot, this is on the lateral side of the foot. So if we come back up, we're going to start with this lateral muscle of the hamstrings, which is the biceps femoris. Then we're going to move over next to the semitendinosus. And then if you look closely underneath here, you have a separate muscle underneath the semitendinosus. So this is the semimembranosus, and you can also see part of it peeking out under here. This piece and this piece are a muscle that's just deep to the semitendinosus. This is the semimembranosus. So let's go ahead and go down to the true leg region. Um, you'll notice that part of the tibia is exposed. Um, just beside that exposed tibia, you have your tibialis anterior. And then the next muscle is the equivalent to uh, what you saw connecting to the tendons in the hand. You have the extensor digitorum longus going down to all the tendons that cover the digits in the feet. And that leaves the posterior part of the leg. The major muscle of the calf is the gastrocnemius. And then deep to the gastrocnemius, we have the soleus underneath. So we take that off. We don't have a lot of the detail. It doesn't actually look like a muscle on the model. Uh, but you can see there is a separate muscle deep. This is the soleus.